Hey everyone, welcome back to more to explore. In today's video, we are going to be talking about our experience creating a minifig at the Lego store in Orlando in Disney Springs. This is located in the Lego store and it is in the back of the store. There's a minifigure factory. This is what it looks like. It gives you a little sneak peek of what you can make what parts they have in stock for you to assemble your minifig. So first you go up to them and you let them know you want to make one and you pay for it. After taxes, it ended up being $12.77. You get this little box um, that shows a little info about it and then you put your minifig in the box once you're done with it. So it just has some warnings on it and talks about Lego a little bit. Um, nothing too exciting on the outside, uh, but the inside is pretty cool. It has like gears on it and these little bricks and you open it up and you can put your mini fig in there. So you put it your little box on the scanner and then um, the employee came over and helped walk us through everything we decided to name our minifig Dombek. Uh, there are some presets that you can choose from or you can kind of go from scratch. So he showed us some shirts that were available and then how you can just draw and erase different colors onto the front and the back of your minifig. And then they had some stickers. There are some that are exclusive to this store in Orlando. So you can use those if you want. There's different fonts you can use, change the size and the color, move them around. So it's really customizable. The employee was super helpful and answered all of our questions. And it looked like a really easy process and the user experience was very easy. This is perfect for adults or kids. So if, if you want your kids to do it, they can definitely do this as well. So we were just kind of looking around, playing around there. It was no time limit as to what we could do, um, but just be cautious of other people and how many people are waiting for this. But they had a lot of really fun stickers and you can draw just whatever you wanted. We only decided to make one of them, um, but you can make as many as you want. I would recommend going early in the morning. We got there pretty close to when they opened and there was no line, but when we were leaving the store, there was a line just to get into the store. I'm not sure about creating a minifig, but there was a line to get into the store. So this is us real time. We decided to make it Mickey themed. Here are some examples of what you can do. A lot of fun variations that you could choose from. It was really hard to decide wh which way we wanted to go with this. So here's the front and the back. We did the front Walt Disney World and the back we did like a Tron disc and then we put the year. Um, so you say that it's done and then it starts printing. So while we were waiting for it to print, we went over to the accessory section they show you what pieces you can choose from. You choose a head, a legs, hair or a hat, and then an accessory. There are so many to choose from and it was kind of hard finding one that we liked best. Here it shows some of the minifigs being printed. That was really cool to watch how they all just fit in there and get printed at once. It shows which ones are ready and which ones are in the process of being made. There's ours. It's so cute. The printing didn't take too long. I would say maybe 10 minutes max. Um, and while it's printing, you pick out all your accessories. So it goes by really quick. Here is our completed minifig. Um, it comes with a little stand that has its name on it. So we changed the legs, we put the hat on, we picked the head, we gave it the popsicle. It was so much fun. This was such a fun experience to do at Disney World. Here it is in the box. So we, you can keep it in there or you can put it wherever you want. Overall, this was a really great experience. And I think for 
less than $15. This is a really great souvenir that you'll remember. I had a great time doing this. I would definitely do it again. Um, I think it would be fun to make one every time you go to Disney World or to the Lego store. And it's a great gift, especially for the Lego lovers in your life. And it's something that you can hold on to forever. Um, it was just a great experience in the Lego store. So I highly recommend you go check it out. Thank you for watching.